Greetings, I am Shad, and because so many of my subscribers know so much more about so many things that I don't know about, when I am thinking about uh, an intellectual puzzle or I, a question comes up that I don't know the answer to, and it's a, it's a tricky question, one that you can't really Google, I have found reaching out to my subscribers to be a wonderful resource to help me answer these tricky, geeky questions that I have. So my question is about gravitational acceleration and how it would be applied on a spacecraft. And before I get into the specifics of what, I, what I'm wondering, what I want to know about this, i got to share with you the background as to why I this question has even come up in my mind. For this is Shadowversity, and what video on Shadowversity is there that doesn't have a general ramble in it? Recently I've been making a spaceship in good old SketchUp, another 3D model. And I make 3D models of swords and castles and of course spaceships, all, all the real fun nerdy things. And I was just in the mood to model up a spaceship. And because I don't generally do things by half measures, I always go, you know, think about, I, I try and think about all the angles, and I'm sure I miss many things, but this is the best I can do here with the knowledge that I currently have. And so I try and cover all the angles, try and apply, make it practical in terms of my limited understanding of the laws of physics and other things like that. And this ship is also based in a fictional universe that I made for the role-playing campaign I ran on the YouTube channel It's Tabletop Time. And it's a really fleshed out universe that I am pretty confident I'll probably uh, double using that setting for some future writing pieces far down the track. And so I was applying the technologies that I had pre-written in the Rogue Star universe on this new spaceship that I was making. And at the time of making this 3D model, uh, the, I had basically decided that the spaceships in my setting would run off a very advanced futuristic type of or version of ionic propulsion. I could get carried away telling you about all the ins and outs of the spaceship. And because of that, I'm actually making another video where I'm just going to have a, a full-on nerd Dirty rant, where I can, where I'm just going to tell you all about the spaceship, all the ins and outs, and the design process and other things like that to save me going into it here. Because, like I said, I, I could just go on forever about this stuff. But I'm telling you about the propulsion because uh, my question is in regards to gravity acceleration as a form of propulsion. Because artificial gravity exists in the setting, right? And I put on the uh, the thrusters, right? And then I got to the bits of tech that make the gravity on the ship. And those are these kind of round mechanical devices on the uh, top and bottom of the ship. They actually are what are called pulse field generators that can change the nature of subatomic particles and create gravitons there and, you know, create legitimate gravity. And I've had a thought for a while that this would actually push the ship in a direction. If you're able to create a gravity field that is uh, focused or uh, flowing in a specific direction downwards to create downwards gravity, I mean, not only would the uh, people inside the ship keep getting pushed down to have the the sensation of gravity, but the entire ship would be pushed down. But because the uh, flow is focused on the inside, so the inter the people on the inside of the ship would get pushed down to a greater degree than the outside of the ship, therefore that's how they'll get the sensation of gravity. But the entire ship would get pushed in that direction. And what's interesting is the pulse field generator is connected to the ship. And so the pulse field generator, um, how it works is, the gravity field it creates is basically like a beam or field projected in a cone from the pulse field generator in the direction that it is facing. And so someone standing behind the pulse field generator won't feel anything. There'll be no gravity at all. You have to be in front of it. And so the pulse field generators need to be situated on the outside of the ship and then that's how uh, you get gravity on the ship. And this is also how inertial dampeners work as well. There's pulse field generators built on the inside of the sides of the hull of the ship and they push to the sides so it can let the person inside can literally be pushed in the same direction that the ship is moving, cancelling out inertia or uh, whiplash completely on the inside of the hull. So that tech is all there. And I had to stop and wonder well, why wouldn't this be used as a form of propulsion if it is effectively capable of doing the same thing? And the big advantage about using gravity as a, fro as a form of propulsion is that you actually wouldn't need inertial dampeners at all because the gravity that is pushing the ship in one direction is pushing everything, even the people on the inside of the ship as well. Everything is get would get pushed in the direction that the gravity field is flowing in. Therefore, there would actually be no whiplash at all on the inside of the ship. There would They would feel like they're not moving at all, which is a much more efficient means of propulsion because if you have thrusters you then need thrusters and you need a d inertial dampeners to counteract the whiplash and inertia from the thrusters but if you put make the thrusters the inertial dampeners well then you hit two birds with one stone it's far it's a far more efficient process so i was like well yeah i'll do that i'll make the thrusters well actually well, it's not actually thrust it's propulsion and so i'll make the propulsors <laughs> i don't know what you'd call them now because they're not thrusters so propulsors propulsion engines, I'll make them high-powered pulse field generators that put that produce gravity fields that push the entire ship in whatever direction you want. And so the propulsion is essentially falling 
the ship would be in a state of freefall, though it can be controlled freefall because even though it's getting pushed forward, you can produce gravity fields that push it on the side and direct it and steer it. And you can also have downwards pushing gravity because if you have smaller pulse field generators just in the roof that pushes you know a smaller gravity field down in the center of the ship on the cockpit the people on the inside would get a downward force but then if you have pulse field generators to the sides of the ship that is then pushing the whole ship upwards a little bit just enough to counteract the downward force of the internal ones and as long as those counteracting gravity fields don't touch the actual people they would still feel a downwards force but the ship itself wouldn't be moving down or and here is where I come to my question, the part that I don't really understand yet. And that is, what speed could be achieved through using gravity fields as a form of propulsion? You see on Earth, objects fall with an acceleration between 9.78 and 9.83 meters per second. Now, that is a factor of acceleration, meaning a constant increase in speed. But things don't continually increase in speed when they're falling on Earth because of wind resistance. And wind resistance is the thing that creates terminal velocity when you're falling. And terminal velocity is when the wind resistance equals the same level of strength or power as the acceleration of gravity. As soon as those two forces balance each other out, you hit max speed for whatever it is, because however wind resistant or non-wind resistant the object is will affect its terminal velocity. But then what if you take away wind resistance? And this is what I'm wondering about, because in space, there is no wind resistance. There's no friction at all. Okay, no friction worth mentioning or has any effect great enough to really even be considered. And so if this ship is able to create a gravity field that pushes the ship in one direction, and because the pulse field generator is connected to the ship, the, the pulse field generator will then get dragged with the ship, which keeps the ship constantly within the gravity field, which puts the ship in a constant state of acceleration. So how fast could a spaceship reach if it was propelled forward through gravity? I'm thinking it could get pretty darn fast. Is there a limit to it? Help me out here, guys. You know more about this than me. So what I expect the answer might be, and I honestly don't know if this is the case, but this is what I'm thinking it might be, okay, is that as you accelerate in space, your inertia increases. And so your inertia is the amount of energy that is required to slow you down or accelerate you any further than what you're currently moving at. And so as that inertia increases, the amount of energy required to accelerate it then increases as well. And so if you have the pulse field generator producing a gravity field of X power or acceleration of meters per second or hour or whatever, that gravity field would be strong enough to accelerate the ship to X speed, where X speed is the point where the spaceship's inertia becomes too great for the power of the gravity field to accelerate it even more. If that makes any sense at all. So to try and say that uh, a bit clearer, the gravity field only has so much power in it to accelerate an object. And if that object's inertia is too great, or far, far greater than the amount of energy that the gravity field is able to, to produce, the level of acceleration on that, on that object would be far, far less. But as I think about it, it would still be able to move that object a little like even a minute say you had an object the size of the earth and you have an object that is far smaller with its own gravity field that and that gravity field is within range of the earth earth still will get affected by that counter gravity field even though it would be so minute to even feel and we actually have examples of that constantly the moon the moon is producing a, a, you know a force of gravity on the earth that it does affect the earth but it's so small that it's not even really worth measuring oh well, it's worth measuring but it doesn't affect the earth's movement really in any significant way and so there wouldn't be a point where the inertia of the ship would become so great that the gravity field wouldn't be able to accelerate it, what would happen is the inertia of the ship would become so great, I'm thinking that the acceleration factor that is produced by the gravity field becomes so minute that it would seem like there is no actual change in the velocity that the ship is moving at. Let me know if I'm right, let me know if I'm wrong. I look forward to reading your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and in the meantime, I hope you enjoy thinking about stuff.